Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4 and we're going to be doing another Dot Race time trial challenge, this time issued by Desmo Jew and Sergio23. But we're going to be tackling the track of Sugo, the fast course variant, with the Suzuki GSXR 750. So there is the lap time for us to beat, it's a 124.448 set by Testa Stretta, a name that I have difficulties pronouncing but I did a good job there, and of course Sergio23 in third place with a 124.690, so let's crack on. So quick mention as well to Sergio for making this terrific livery, if you recognise this livery it was very similar to the older one we did in the Dot Trace Time Trial Challenge number 10, this is a reincarnation of that fantastic motorcycle which was the RG500 but now made into the 750 variant. And just to mention as well, I do apologise for my voice in this one, I'm still lacking a bit of energy because I've not been feeling too great this past couple of days, but we're still going to be tackling this challenge and I've got to say, it was so hard to keep the concentration for this particular challenge when you're not feeling too good. I've been suffering with some dizzy spells as well so I had to have a little bit of a break in the middle, but never fear, we're still going to tackle it the best possible way we can. I do love this circuit and this is the very first time I'm using this motorcycle as well so this has been very very enjoyable, I really enjoy this time trial challenge so I really appreciate the Aces taking it upon themselves to start another challenge and issue it to the Doctor myself so uh, once again big thumbs up for you guys and thank you for your continued support and uh, challenging me as much as possible but we do go into SP out for the very first time, a section of track that is going to make or break your run, no doubt. I had a few difficulties going into them corners, but we'll discuss that later on. But for the very first lap, this is my very first one I'm going to complete here. As you can see in the mileage in the bottom right corner of your screen as well, this is the, literally the very first lap I'm ever going to do with this particular motorcycle. And across the line we're going to go, it's 125.8. Certainly nothing to get too excited about. We have quite a lot of work to do. Unfortunately, I went straight off into turn one, so therefore, we're back here once again, but going into the second corner, very nice and tight to the apex, but we ran it a little bit wide there and then a little bit too eager on the acceleration, not giving us that same amount of smoothness that I usually ride with. So going into the difficult hairpin curve, going a little bit wide onto the rumble strip, but that's okay because you've got to get this particular chicane correct. If you don't get the chicane right, you might as well go back to the main menu and hit restart because I don't think you're going to be improving your lap time from there. But well, we now go on the right hand side, a little bit too wide for my sort of taste, we're going into Rainbow Corner. But we're still on board the motorcycle and we are still ahead of the Ghost. Now something I will mention, I do leave the Ghost on for your guys' benefits, but in this particular video I did find myself racing the Ghost, which really annoyed me. Because <laughs> I kept focusing on the Ghost a bit too much, and it really annoyed me after a while. So I was tempted to turn it off, but I do understand that you guys leave it on, so... And apparently you like it, so I left it on for your benefit once again. But we now go into the right-hand side for the 110R corner, so 110R corner if you want. As we now go on the right-hand side, I will mention I am a little bit disappointed that, that particular part is not part of this particular track, meaning that I do prefer the other version of Sugo rather than the fast track version. So don't get me wrong, it's still a great track, and even with that, it's absolutely fine by me. But unfortunately, that lap is still. Not even good enough to get into the same second as Testa Stretta and Sergio23. So I've got a lot of work to do here. I need to start booking up my ideas. I'm currently running a hard front and a medium rear. Now, everything hasn't been touched as usual. So in the sense of the settings, the suspension and the uh, gearing, nothing has been changed. Everything is exactly the same as we can make a massive mistake on the outside of the chicane there. But we still somehow remained on board the Suzuki. So very careful. And once again... Too much acceleration being applied with that right trigger. Just got to be a little bit more careful upon the acceleration. And as uh, Sergio23 mentioned in the actual uh, Discord server, be careful with the front brake because it does get rather warm. So if you're tackling this challenge, be very careful with the front. It does get rather warm. But by all means, change the tyres and maybe change the setup as well. Tester Stretter believes that the settings worked for him, so maybe change it if you want to. I don't know what settings he ran. But I do believe he posted it in the Discord server, so if you're interested in being as fast as these guys and compete with us in the Discord server, you are more than welcome to join us with the link in the description down below. But this lap time's looking pretty promising. Still not into the 124s, I don't believe, but when we get across the line, it'll give us a good indication of where we are going to be. 
And across the line we will go, and it's still in the 125s, getting close to the next second. So not too bad. We got a little bit of positivity coming our way, but not quite there yet. And I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with my performance so far. I did expect myself to be battling near enough by at least a couple of tenths by now. Third lap in, and it's not looking too promising. So we've got to dig down deeper a little bit more. The front tyre is getting even warmer, but we do take two tenths of a second in that first sector so we are trending in the right way we just got to slowly bring on the acceleration slowly bring on the brakes as well because i've been getting a little bit too eager upon the acceleration and sometimes the brakes as well but we did get a nice line going on top of the rumble strip there that rumble strip can be a bit of a bugger actually sometimes it'll give you an extra boost but sometimes it'll give you nothing so just be very careful as we break very very late for the horseback corner nice and tight to the apex as well as we bring on the acceleration chuck it to the right hand side just to then flick it into the left and i made an absolute hash of that one by going too tight to the apex and running over the rumble strip the rumble strips in this particular track are absolutely unpredictable unpredictable and unreliable sometimes you can go on it and it's your best friend the next time you can go on it and it'll just shove you straight off so just be very careful and do not rely on the rumble strips in this one try and keep it within the track i'm a bugger for going wide in corners and taking all of the space of the track but unfortunately it didn't really pay off there fastest lap time so far so it's our fourth lap in succession another improvements 125.090 as we get a little bit wild on the uh, rumble strips once again try that again the next time and you might crash oh that was a save and a half on the <laughs> on the inside there as we now go on the left hand side nice and tight to the apex and that front tire is still begging to be put down i think and <laughs> the rubber must be just flying off it at this point but we'll now go on the right hand side going into the tight apex of the high point corner and then for turn seven just approaching for the rainbow corner nice and tight once more but bringing on the acceleration you'll see that little bit of a boost we got i do believe in some of the gta games they call it a brake boost well, you get a that's a speed running hack or something i'm not entirely sure i've never done it myself but we actually got a little bit of a boost from it on the previous lap and of course no boost this time but going tight to the horseback corner we did make a mistake on this left hander so are we going to gain a bit of time we took to the grass yes we did we gained quite a bit of time actually quite a significant amount we might actually improve our lap time at this point because we're now 52 thousandth of a second down as we go into the 110 R corner very tight to the apex there practically running across the rumble strip bring on the acceleration and let's see if we can get ahead of the ghost I can't even see the ghost at this point I think we're inside each other or oh there he is we're actually not going to improve our lap time now I usually show this part at the end of the video but this was the end of my first sitting I went for a little bit of a lie down had a beverage and I came back stronger a little bit after but I also went back to make sure I got the bike set up correctly because you've got to position the performance points within the 700 barrier so I went for a 699 was the performance points that everyone else was using I managed to set up the bike the same way the bike was set up the same way in the previous one but I had to check because I really wasn't sure and I was also very concerned with how slow I was so I went to check to see if I got the lap times right if I was actually trying to beat a 124 and they're absolutely right I didn't know why I was so slow and I was really worried at this point I've got to be honest yeah I was really concerned that I wasn't gonna get the job done I was feeling rough and I was beginning to be a little bit annoyed as well because I couldn't beat the aces usually I'm pretty competitive and I can compete with them but I was surprised at this performance I just couldn't seem to conjure anything up but we'll try again now for this particular lap and let's see if we can improve so going into the right hander of the horseback corner the third split coming up now it's a 47 second 803 I didn't pay enough attention to see the other times but I do believe that's more or less the same as where we were so we'll get a better indication in a minute as we go into SP out and then we'll take a look to see where we are going to be compared to the aces times compared to mine of course so onto the right hand side nice and tight to the apex keeping it nice and tight ish to then bring on the acceleration for the final corner with no ghost may I add so it's nice to have the track to myself so to speak so we are going to complete this particular lap and let me tell you this is when things get really really interesting I went wide into the first corner and then I had to check everything to check make sure everything was set up properly and make sure something hadn't gone wrong and something had gone wrong which I'm so annoyed at and I can't believe I didn't see it immediately but the electronics weren't set correctly I had anti-brake of two which was great traction control of zero which is perfect but for some strange reason anti-wheelie was set to two and oh my goodness 
I cannot believe how slow the bike felt when Anti Wheelie 2 was enabled. If you are struggling and you want to find more time, please, for goodness sake, remove Anti Wheelie. Yes, it may be a bit more harder to ride, but I cannot believe the amount of time that it took away from me just by having Anti Wheelie 2 on. We're going to approach the horseback corner now and we're up by two tenths of a second. This will put us into the 124s for the very first time and I, I cannot believe how annoying that was. I would implore everyone from now on, if you're going to be tackling a challenge like this, fight it without anti-wheelie because you are so much slower when it's on. We did make a mistake going into that particular corner but I thought, you know what, anti-wheelie feels good, the bike's feeling good, let's start doing a bit of a streak. Balls to the cones there, they get an absolute whack because Anti Wheelie has just <laughs> ruined my chances of getting five or six laps in with a solid motorcycle. We crossed the line, it would have been my first 124 lap, but it doesn't matter now. We're going into the first corner, a little bit out of shape there, a little bit too wide for my liking, but we did get the line going into the second corner, and you're going to start seeing some very fast dot race lap time. So going into the left hander now, braking, chucking in a little bit of rear brake, just tapping it ever so slightly just to slow the motorcycle down, chuck it to the left hand side for the first part, the apex of the chicane, and then for the second chicane, that was a bit of a scary moment, we're still on board the motorcycle, going into the right hand side for the high point corner, ooh, a little bit of a twitch on the acceleration there, trying to avoid touching the rumble strip on the outside there, but this feels like a very solid lap time. We're still running a hard front and a medium rear, the only change that's occurred is we've removed that anti wheelie and we're up by four tenths of a second this is much more like it very tight to the apex of the horseback corner stopping it in incredible fashion as we now go on the left hand side for sp in careful on the acceleration here you don't want to mess it up by going onto the rumble strip somehow we survive that particular part we go completely wide there once again and the bike is booking it's weaving but we have five tenths of a second clear from the previous lap time so let's see what we can produce we're going on the right hand side, bringing on the acceleration. Could this be the lap time to get us close enough to test a stretter and to surge you across the line? We will go and it's a 124.749. We are trending in the right direction, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, I've got to mention it. Turn one for Sugo is very iconic for me because that's where I did my braking guide tutorial. So if you're watching this and thinking, how is he braking so late? Check out that video for a little bit of advice. But I would advise you to check it after this particular video because things are going to get very quick in this particular video as we now go into a perfect, perfect execution of that chicane doing a grand job now as we go on the right hand side for the high point corner once again careful we're going a little bit too wide for that particular section and we do touch the grass ever so slightly which lost us a little bit of time so if we can avoid that for the next particular lap maybe we're on for a good promise so for now Hard front, medium rear, I'm mentioning that because I'm going to change it up later on, but for the time being, hard front, medium rear seems to be a very solid combination. It's the combination I always tend to go for, it's my favourite combination pretty much all the time. But we go into SPA and we make a big mistake once again, another opportunity has gone begging, you just have to fight it though. Just because I made that little mistake, it doesn't mean you have to cancel the lap time, try something new. So I did on this particular lap, I already thought the lap was ruined. Go for a tight, tight, tight corner for the final corner. And I tell you what, that gained us a bit of time. Did it? Did it not? I think it did. Just got to execute it a little bit better for next time. I mentioned the tyre settings and I've decided to change it up. Medium front, medium rear. The Aces said you can't do it unless it's a hard front with changings of settings. We're going to do it with a medium front without changing the suspension settings. That's what I'm all about on this one. Just absolutely bloody go for it. If we crash, we crash. So be it. I'm going to give it everything I've got now. If I'm going to not feel very well, I'm going to feel even worse by the end of this one, but I don't even care. I want to fight with the Aces. I want to prepare myself for a good old battle, but we do pretty well into the apex of that corner, but unfortunately the exit getting a little bit too wide there, so that was a bit messy. It could be improved a hell of a lot, and we're only just ahead of the Ghost. We're pretty much neck and neck now. Bear in mind, the Ghost's on a hard front, actually, so shout out to the Ghost. But we'll go 
very, very late on the brakes there, roughly about 110, 125 metres. But we do stop the motorcycle very, very strongly into that particular right-hander for the horseback corner. Bear in mind for the previous lap we made a hash going into the right-hand side there, but we didn't this time going into SP out. Be careful in acceleration, we're up by two tenths of a second, and we're going to go for that super tight apex. Really close to the rumble strip there, still holding it in, gently bobbing the acceleration, just just tapping the right trigger almost, just gently feeling it and feeding it as well, not just smashing it on, but this is going to be a very promising lap time. If we can get the job done across the line, we will go. It's a 124-399. With my excitement, I went straight into the barrier to turn one. I'm so pleased that I've actually been taking the top spot away from Tester Stretter. A sick ace still gets the job done, so I'm pretty happy with that one. And no less on a medium front and a medium rear. I would definitely try it out, guys. I really would. Going into the tight apexes, it feels it has more grip. And it just gets a little bit hotter, I guess, but it feels it has way more grip as to make an absolute horrendous mistake going into the chicane there. But we still stay on top of the motorbike, still on board the Suzuki, still looking quite promising. We could actually improve here as we go super tight to the Apex, comparing it to the Ghost. It's going to be very, very similar. We're going to line it up for the 110, 150 meter braking point going into the horseback corner. And this could be the lap to secure an even better lap time. Is the 124.399 in stone? Is it going to be the fastest lap that I can produce? It very well may be, unless we can produce something heroic on this particular lap, getting a little bit out of shape once again, going for a tighter apex there. Look how much time we saved. Little things like that. There's, there's way more time to be gained on this particular lap, I assure you. It's just piecing it all together. Sugo wants to help, and sometimes Sugo wants to take away, so... Sugo is an unforgiving track, but it doesn't look like we are going to improve, so that will be my final lap here in Sugo, but bloody hell, what a challenge, I really enjoyed that one. So those are my six lap times on screen now, so I guess if you ignore the first five ones, but we did do 11 in total, you can't deny that, but I guess those first five lap times weren't really that impressive anyway, so I guess put them in the history books, these are the ones you're going to be comparing your times with on the screen right now. But how about that one, guys? Dr. Ace back at the top of the leaderboards. For how long? I honestly have no idea. Sergio and the rest of the aces are quite ridiculous, so I'm guessing they're going to beat me within a matter of time. But for the time being, as I've done this video, I have got the top spot. So I want to say a big thank you to the aces for suggesting this challenge and for just pushing me to the absolute limits. No matter how ill I felt, I still was very, very determined to beat you all. <laughs> so thanks for that one, guys. But we will look at the actual livery of the motorcycle because it wouldn't be fair to not show Sergio's fantastic livery. But upon that note, guys, thank you to Sergio23. Thank you for watching this video as always. And uh, if you really enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave me a comment on your favourite part of the video and tell me how you're getting on with this particular challenge. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next one. So subscribe if you want to stick around for more, and I'll see you later on for more Dr. Ace content. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.